let's have a look at tan. Okay. Now, tan's the weird one. I've drawn a small version of tan over here, but I thought I wouldn't pre-prepare it because it's worth you learning how to draw tan, um, you know, roughly enough that you can use it to solve an equation, but quite quickly as well. Okay, so we're going to step you through, rather than like our slow process of working out what tan looks like, I'm going to show you how I graph it roughly. Okay, so the first thing you should start with is a clean set of axes, right? I only have the right hand side of my axes because, have a look at this. I get told that the angle I'm after, and by the way, it's theta here, it's x here, no big deal, it's just a label, okay? You can call that angle anything you love. You can call it tan of David, or tan of Amin, or whatever, it's just a label, okay? So I have this angle, it's gotta be between 0 and 360. These are all positive, right? And that's why I've only got the positive side. Here's what I'm gonna do. For however long that you've drawn it, right? Your set of axes, your horizontal part, that's your theta axis. However long you've drawn it, just put a mark in near the end, okay? That mark's gonna be your 360 degree mark, okay? You've all got different size graphs, so I can't tell you it'll be five centimeters long or 10 centimeters long, but however far along, just so you have a bit of a gap, so it can stop. So that guy's gonna be 360, okay? Now, just like with sine and cosine, all the important points are these kinds of angles here, 90, 180, 270. Without a ruler, you want to be able to look at your page and say, I can know where halfway is. People can generally know where halfway is with some accuracy. My halfway looks about there. Okay? And half of 360, of course, is 180, right? So there's 180. Once I have that half, I need to do this halving, this bisecting thing, two more times, right? One here and one here. That'll give me 90 and 270. So you quickly bisect, that'll give you 90. My set, that'll give you 270. Okay? Now those two angles that I just put in, 90 and 270, that's where these weirdo vertical dotted lines come in. Does anyone remember what they're called? They start with an A. They're called asymptotes. asymptotes. Very good. They're these special places where the graph, on ours anyway, can't exist. Right? You remember, it tries to get closer and closer and closer, but it never gets there. You can't put 1090 into a calculator. It'll just say, Forget it, I'm going home, you know, I, I quit, okay? Same with 270, okay? So those 90 and 270 we just put in, maybe get your ruler out, and let's put those dotted lines, those asymptotes through there. Okay. Once you've got that, you've got all the important pieces, and now the fun bit, okay? We want to put in these three sections of 10x, and they're all broken apart, okay? So you can start at zero, start at zero, okay? And then you're just drawing the shape so that it goes up to that first asymptote, okay? I'll point out to you that just like with sine x and cos x, see how when they go through the axis, they're not going through vertically and they're not going through horizontally, they're going at an angle, okay? So you can see I have it going up at an angle, okay? In fact, that angle's about 45 degrees. That same shape, I'm going to copy over to here, right? And the reason I just copy it is because, just like sine and cosine, tan is periodic. It just repeats over and over again. And it repeats every 180 degrees. That's why I went over 180 degrees and then I have this shape. To finish the thing off, I'm just going to do the opposite down here, right? So same shape, but in the other direction. And then I take this guy and I copy him over here. Same shape, but going down. And voila, you have a perfect looking tan graph. Okay? Like I said, please um, watch out that when you, if you were to get a ruler, for instance, if you get your ruler now, and if you try and line it up so that it lines up with your tan graph right in the middle, like that. Can you see my line's going off at an angle? It's going off at an angle. It shouldn't be right there horizontal like that, okay? If your graph looks a bit like that, if your graph looks more like this, okay? Um, that's actually the x cubed graph. It looks quite different. The tan graph, it blows straight through at an angle. So if yours looks like that, maybe rub it out a little bit so you get this kind of shape, okay? It's a very common mistake to make, so it's all right to make it uh, a few times, just not continually.